your offensive line from game one? Well, we learned quite a few things. Um, we learned that we need to start faster, have a little bit more urgency. And I think collectively, and it was reflective of us early on, I think we were playing a little bit tight. Mm -hmm. In a regard, and I used this earlier, playing not to lose as opposed to playing to win. Um, I was very pleased with the fact that you're looking at a lot of new faces and knock on wood, we didn't have an offensive penalty. I don't feel like we had an operation error from the sideline standpoint. There was one point where a guy got lined up in a in the wrong formation, didn't see a particular formation signal, and then a guy kind of jogged out. But we were able to, with a young quarterback, um, not rush a particular play. So from a discipline standpoint, I was very pleased with that. I did very much like the way that we kind of answered the bell there in the second half. And we had some adversity in the first half. And we had some adversity in the second half. And uh, I felt like we handled that better. How about your offensive line? What do you think? On their first time out, the line. The line, OK, I thought that's who you're referring to. OK, yep, that's that was kind of this very similar synopsis is I know that we can play better. They know that we can play better. And you look at it and the statistics are what they what they are. I thought we made a poor decision a few times in some technique and pass pro. Uh, but, um, you know, for as little pressures as we gave up, that's encouraging. Um, in the run game, like I said, uh, I thought early we were kind of catching a little bit and feeling things out as opposed to attacking, and that resulted a little bit in a slower start. But uh, when you have the success that we did have running the football, there's a lot of positives to build on as well. And I'm not going to say, well, man, we averaged this per rush, so all is well and good. We know that we have to get better, and I expect that we will. What did you like? What did you not like about the passing game? Well, I like that we we took advantage of some of the things that they gave us. There's a few things where I think that we had some missed opportunities within the passing game. Um, where I didn't like it was on some third downs. I thought that there were some third downs that – that we missed opportunities on, and maybe it was a bad read by a tight end. Maybe it was a guy kind of running into a backer that didn't open up a particular window. Um, maybe it was progressing through something just a little too quick or not progressing completely right on it. That's where that's probably where I see that we need to improve. I didn't like where we were at third down conversion wise and to me very much credit them i believe that they are very easily correctable on our end Julian's defensive line is i guess one of the more talented in the group of five uh, what stands out about their defensive line and what challenges do they well present? i can i think the defensive line is very reflective of their defense in general and they are fast they are physical and they are aggressive and the defensive line is probably the greatest indicator of that. They do not, you know, they do not make a ton of mistakes. They don't get out of fits. They don't, they don't do this. They don't do that. And I know that um, they played their first game under a new head coach, under a new defensive system. And that's one of the things that's very impressive to me is you have a lot of new pieces. They, they do have a few players who did come with the head football coach from Troy that played right out here against Kansas State last year, including their starting nickel, and who I think is a great football player. But uh, um, how physical they are, how well they get off blocks, and uh, um, we got a tremendous amount of respect for that head coach and that entire staff, and, and they play their tails off. From a usage standpoint, did you get everything you were hoping for out of Dylan in game one? Yeah, I was pleased with some of the touches that he got. You know, when you look at the limited amount of plays that we had, and I think there's a couple things to that. 
one is, you know, I'm kind of looking at, at a stat line late Saturday night, and I'm going, holy cow. And the thing that you come back to is a lost possession on a block punt because that's a lost possession. You come to a um, lost possession or a smaller possession on a turnover, and then obviously the turnover in the second half, that's a lost possession. But another thing that's really going on in college football as well is there's new play clock rules. And, you know, I'm kind of looking at that, and I obviously very much knew about what had happened during the course of the game that may have caused our play count to be a little bit lower. And the first person I looked at was me. And then the second thing, I started looking at other teams around the country and with the new play clock rules that the play is continuing to go on the first down. Um, you're seeing, I believe, something that the, the top 20, you know, in the country with play count numbers from a year ago, they're all down about 10 plays. And, you know, that could be for any number of reasons, but that's something that – we as coaches need to continue to look at. So I do believe that ties into um, with Dylan. There were some things that are on the card. There's some things that we have done that uh, that you're going to continue to see as the season progresses. Time for a couple more. Who was one player offensively that caught your eye if you had to narrow it down to one guy? Well, I think the easy answer is DJ. You know, um, very pleased, obviously, with the exception of a play on special teams with Jace, um, you know, and then uh, I think Carver Willis plays his tail off. I, I just I love the way he plays. Uh, one thing I told the guys after that game, um, when you guys have been asking what does a, you know, an offense, a new look offense look like, and two things that I mentioned to him on Monday were um, a disciplined team and there's some things that we need to clean up, but from uh, pre-snap and post-whistle penalties, I thought we did really good. Uh, and a team that uh, plays their tails off. And one of the things I was most impressed with, and, and it's not cute, it's not sexy, but how well our wide receivers blocked out on the perimeter. Coach Samuel, I guess, really prides himself on his defense, and it seems like that team takes a similar approach. What's one thing that they do incredibly well on defense that – uh, stood out to you on film? They tackle very well. They really do. Um, and they're very disciplined. You do not see many mistakes out of that defense. You don't see them rotating coverage the wrong way. I think they communicate extremely well when they have this going or that going. It's, it's, it is a well-oiled machine. And it's quite impressive on how, um, how well they're doing those things in such a brief time that he's been there.